So for those of you who don't know, my name is Emmaus Vanderbilt and my girlfriend Hannah Brewer and I just had our very first Valentine's Day together. And I want to do something very creative for her as she is just the prettiest girl in the world and I love that woman. And I wanted to do something that was sort of outside the box, but also something within the skill set that God has blessed me with. Um, naturally, I'm not real good at playing instruments, at really doing anything musical, but humbly speaking, I'm a talented videographer and that's because God has given me those talents that I can use for his kingdom. So I wanted to sort of combine the two into one. So it's using something I'm good at, but also trying something I'm not the best at. So one of our favorite songs is called A Little Bit Yours. And it's actually funny because it's sort of like a breakup song, which that is not the memo. I'm not breaking up with her, especially on Valentine's Day. That's absolutely terrible. But it's one of our favorite songs. So I met with one of my friends. Uh, his name is Tommy Tran. He studies music theory and music education at Winget University. He is an expert. He's a professional in music theory and keyboard and vocals. So I contacted him. I sort of gave him the vision of saying, Tommy, I would like for you to teach me how to play this song on the keyboard. And at first he was like, okay, that's something that we could try. But I could tell deep down he's probably a little hesitant because he's like, this man knows nothing about keys besides like a few basic chords back from middle school chorus and like a few other times at the church just messing around. Essentially, I mean, it's a hard challenge because I don't want to just do something basic. I want it to be done well. But I said, I'm up for a good challenge. And I'm actually recording this video right now at 11.26 p.m. the night before Valentine's Day because I finished the whole keyboard piece. I finished the music piece and recorded the music video. I finished that last night. And I'm just piecing together this whole behind the scenes clip before I give it to my girlfriend tomorrow. So I wrote a card for her. And I also put a QR code on that side. And you notice I cropped that while I wrote her. Only she can read that. But I put a QR code, she's going to scan that and they will give her the video, which I've spent probably about 25 hours on between learning keys and doing everything um, production wise. So what I did is I vlogged this entire process all the way from learning it in my beginning stages of not doing good, of practicing with Tommy, practicing with another friend, Linda, going location scouting at Lorraine Mills. Um, bringing in equipment, some editing. So I put all this together so that you guys can see um, what all went into this and that I'm more than just a videographer. I'm more than just a businessman, but that I truly, uh, number one, have a heart after God. And number two, um, up, at least until God tells me otherwise, I have a heart as pursuing this woman, Hannah Brewer, and I love her. So I wanted to show you guys this video that I made for her, and I hope this can inspire you to do something sweet for someone else or just to sort of lift your spirits up in this Valentine's season. So go ahead and enjoy this whole uh, vlog. It'll be about 10, 15 minutes long, who knows? And you can just see this entire process and enjoy the video. myself want you i let myself try i let myself fall back into your eyes i let myself want you i let myself hope i let myself to do some location scouting for the music video for the prettiest girl in the whole world, Hannah Brewer. It's a video I'm gonna do for Valentine's Day for her. So I'm looking for sort of like a cool rustic, um, but also elegant type of place. So there's a wedding, wedding venue called Larray Mills in, um, in Gaston County. My dad knows the owner, but I've done plenty of stuff there for them before. So I guess I can say I'm friends with them. But either way, I'm going to go check it out to see if I can actually film tomorrow evening. I know it's going to be a little bit of a tight turnaround time, but what it's going to be is literally just one room with us filming it. So it'll be me on keys and vocals. It'll be Bethany Teague on vocals doing a higher harmony part. It'll be Elena on a Ronin. So it'll be good, but literally it's on the way to see if they'll even let me do it. If not, I'll try and maybe see if Sea Park Mansion will let me do it in Gastonia. I know that'll probably cost a little bit more money. But it'll be totally worth it. So, now yeah, rocking Gardner Webb, go Bulldogs. And let's see if they can let me rent this place out for them.
Emmaus, I want you to just listen to me. Yes. And I want you to go ahead and put your hands on the keyboard. And then I just want you, yeah, there, just let them go. Let your hands go on the keyboard. But I just want you to close your eyes and I want you to only open your eyes to see where your notes are going to go, okay? Because so you're not going to lose your focus with your hands on the position, okay? Back into your We just finished recording in GarageBand a demo for keys and my vocals right there. Bethany is on the way. We're going to record using the shirt SM7B into the Focusrite Scarlet, which is just running through GarageBand. So really excited to put this together uh, since Tuesday was one of the only times it worked for all of us to record. I'm actually going to be doing this in the reverse process, uh, filming the music video first and then actually having the song mastered and make it sound all pretty at the end. So for example, there's still a few missed notes in this demo recording here, but that's not a big deal because I'm not gonna of course be using the audio that we're recording today during the video, but that's just for the purpose of making sure that I'm playing on the right time and all that. So we're gonna export this and it is 3.14 p.m. And we're gonna head over to Lorraine Mills, which is like 15 minutes from here. Uh, literally as soon as we record this with Bethany and then we'll be good to go to start setting up and recording this evening. We just finished up recording vocals with Bethany. Now heading over to our studio located in Gastonia, North Carolina uh, to pick up our Aperture 120D Mark II, some other good lights and some other stuff for tonight's shoot. So yeah, vibing out on the way here. It's been really busy. We're gonna show up to Lorraine Mills a little bit late because recording vocals took longer than expected. Hannah has absolutely no idea what's happening. She thinks it's like a blanket or something like that. Not even close, girl. So we're about to record this. It's gonna be lit. Just finished up loading. Tesla Model Y does great with the fold down seats. We got a full car of stuff. Lena, who is my sister, uh, will be on Ronin S tonight with a Canon 1DX Mark II and the 2470. Uh, two tripods, one to have another 1DX, another one to have the Canon EOS R. But yeah, we got a bunch of cool stuff from our studio here. We got, oh, you can't zoom in. I have different stands, mic stand, plenty of extension cords, aperture, uh, Lightstorm Mini, 120D, other Godox lights, some other cool uh, tube lights. So, yeah, it should be really cool. I think we're like, yeah, nine minutes out from here. So we're excited to get and set up load in, even running more behind. We're gonna be there at four and that's extra 420. And then we're actually gonna get there now at 430. But it's fine, we're not starting to shoot till 530. It's really simple. Literally just keyboard, one mic stands and some basic uh, three point lighting setup. So it's not gonna be a whole lot to set up, but it should be nice and simple. So let's go. We are nine minutes out. Can't wait to record this thing. When loading in, if you have to park in the handicap, we have a sticky note that says do not tow because we're unloading. All right, so let's see what else we got left. Hey, Bethany. Hi. How you doing? I like, the, I like the fit. about ready to record can you give me a yee yee no oh no yee yees so just to go over equipment real quick uh, elena on the ronin s with a 1dx mark ii 24 to 70 another 1dx mark ii with a 35 1.4 prime version 2 we got bethany uh saying to a sennheiser uh, ew100 g4 a mass is on the shirt sm7b yamaha uh p uh, p45 i think uh, Canon EOS R with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 version 2. 
This is the Godox SL60W. We did a review on this. They sent us that one to check out. And our main key light is the Aperture 120D Mark II with the honeycomb grid and these cool um, LS Lightstorm minis back there. And those are actually cool little DJ lights, American DJ Mega Bar RGBA. Filling in the background with lots of extension cords and a power strip, and that looks like a huge mess. Over here, the music is played through my iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, onto that JBL Flip Mini. And these pants are from H&M, in case anyone's wondering. So, I think we're ready to go. It's dark outside, uh, long day setting up and getting everything ready. So we're gonna record this, and then we are going to rock out. Love me. Just finished loadout. What a mess. Yeah, we'll just unpack tomorrow. That's a lot of work for right now, like eight o'clock at night. So just finished up some editing work. It's, oh, exactly midnight on Friday, February 12th. So only two days until this project is ready. Again, she still has no idea what's going on. So what I did today is I broke out the keyboard, the Yamaha, um, and I re-recorded a few parts just to make it sound a little better because on Wednesday, I'm sorry, because on Tuesday, all I was focusing on at the video shoot was I just needed a demo copy that we could play along with so we could sync up the video and audio later. And then I was gonna go back later and re-record a better keys part. And uh, so that's what I did today. I also exported the tracks individually and I sent them off to have them mastered as well. I found a guy to master them. Uh, I just I just went on Fiverr and found a guy to do it for like 10, 15 bucks. So let's actually see if this works or not. He may do a crappy job. And if so, I'll just do it myself. But let's assume we're gonna be positive that he did a good job. And then we'll use that. I paid five bucks extra to get it one day quicker. So he has about 15 hours to get it back to me. And then we'll check that out tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do now is continue working inside Premiere. Just put on maybe 20, 30 minutes of work tonight. She just went to bed. Uh, just texted her. We don't live together. We're staying pure until uh, until or if God has us married one day. So I texted her. She went uh, to bed already. And um, I'm gonna open up this project and we are going to put in some work inside Premiere at midnight. Let's go. I'm so confused. What are you confused about? It's a card. Okay, well then go ahead and read it. What? Oh, okay. Okay, so? Do I use my phone? I think so. Start with the bottom one first to see what your gift is. I let 
myself want you I let myself try I let myself fall back into your eyes I let myself want you I let myself hope I let myself feel things that I know you don't You're not mine anymore But I'm still a little bit yours Maybe if I said The right things It would never go this way And maybe that's the problem Cause I don't even know if it was up to me When I could never make you stay Hello. I love you. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs>